Joining me right now to discuss the open border and reckless spending and debt is House Majority Leader, Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise. Congressman, it's great to see you. Mr. Majority Leader, thank you so much for being here. Always great being with you, and uh, good morning to you, Maria. I spoke with Senator Joe Manchin while on the ground in Davos this week, and here's what he said about the wide open border watch. You cannot have the nation that we have, the workforce that's needed, and the intelligence that's going to be needed with it, and development of the skills, unless you have a secured border. There's not going to be any serious talks about immigration reform until everybody agrees we will have a secured border. Congressman, will we have a secured border under the Republicans' leadership? Do you're going to see Republicans bring bill through the House to actually secure America's border? I hope we get Senator Manchin and other Democrat senators who have blocked any attempt to secure the border, uh, because we're going to be sending a package of bills to secure the border to get control of this problem. I mean, you talked about the people on the terrorist watch list. Those are just the ones we caught. How many have come across that we don't even know about? Right. And we're seeing, by the way, not just South uh, countries from the southern border. Uh, we're seeing countries from all around the world, over 150 countries coming across our southern border because Joe Biden opened it up. He could close it on his own. He won't. We're going to bring legislation to show the country how to fix this problem. Let's get the Senate engaged so they can pass that bill to the president. Just extraordinary. What about this upcoming showdown on debt? Uh, I know that Joe Manchin uh, has reached out to Kevin McCarthy to set up a meeting. The speaker also told me that he has directed his office to set up that meeting. So they will be meeting in terms of uh, identifying places to cut. How will you get our debt under control? Well, Joe Biden's the one who needs to take ownership and responsibility for this, and he's refusing to meet with Kevin McCarthy up to this point. I don't think that's sustainable, Maria, because if you look, for the last two years, Joe Biden has gone on a spending spree the likes our country has never seen before. A drunken sailors would have not to be associated with the level of spending you've seen out of Washington. And so what happened is the credit cards are maxed out. That's basically how you hit the debt ceiling. It's the ability to print more money, and that expires when you hit the debt ceiling. And so the only way to address it is to control spending or to increase the debt ceiling or a combination of the two. But you can't just keep increasing the debt limit and let President Biden keep spending like he's done. That's just yeah. not, uh, it's not attainable for the future generations. Our country can't handle that. So we've got to get control over spending as we're having this conversation. And Joe Biden's got to recognize this. Right now he's living in denial. He's used to, you know, Speaker Pelosi, just give him another trillion dollars every other week. That's not mm -hmm. going to work. We're not going to do that. So he's yeah. got to get control over spending. And by the way, that's what is the lead driver of inflation that's crushing hardworking families. So we've got to stand up for those families who are struggling across America because of the mountains of debt and the spending that Joe Biden has exercised these last two years. Real quick on the climate agenda, I saw your tweet about CEOs who are pushing this uh, new global standard on ESG. Yeah, you know, you think about this, they've been wrecking economies all over the world. I mean, they fly to Davos. I mean, what's the carbon footprint, by the way, of all these global elitist liberals flying in their private jets to Davos to tell you to change your lifestyle? You know, and then they want to go after industries. They want to kill the oil and gas industry. Uh, by the way, did, did they have solar panels on the wings of their airplanes when they flew to Davos? No, they use jet fuel, yet they want to kill these industries. And all they're doing is empowering foreign countries. They're making our country more reliant on foreign countries, uh, whether it's OPEC That's nations, right. Russia, Iran. Uh, why would we be doing that when, if you want to save the planet, make more things in America, we do it better than anybody else in the world. They need to start recognizing that. Drop all this woke agenda that's killing Americans. And it's raising, it, it, by the way, it's raising prices on those lowest income Americans who, who can least afford it. So, you know, this, this idea of, of this woke America, I think people are rejecting it. People are fed up with it. And they see that it's raising their costs on everything from electricity at, in their house, not only gas at the pump, but everything they buy. Yeah. And, and all just to push jobs to China, who's building a new coal plant every single week. This is just. lunacy. It's got to end. And we're going to be putting scrutiny on it. All right, Congressman, it's good to see you. We'll be following your agenda. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise. Thank you, sir.